So my name is Ben Carver. Um, I'm a school teacher, a yoga teacher, and um, I first met Hisham several years ago, actually in 2010. And he was recommended to me by some of my teaching colleagues in the Steiner School that I worked in. Um, because I'd always had um, tremors in my hands all my life, and I realise now when my first memory of them actually coincided reasonably closely when I had my first metal fillings in my mouth. Um, I thought, and, and tremors are a, a recognised as a symptom of mercury poisoning, so I thought I'd come and get my mercury fillings removed, of which I had, a, I think, six, seven fillings in my mouth. So I came, we did the initial extraction, which all went very well. Um, but then it came to the, the purification process, so trying to remove all of the excess mercury from my body before we put the final fillings back in. And even though I was doing everything that Hisham said, avoiding the onion family, eggs, um, I'm vegetarian anyway, and taking the detox things, we never seemed to get the mercury levels down properly, so I never got the final fillings in. Then there was a period when I, I um, was in between jobs and I, because of financial reasons, I didn't come back for a while. But then when I did, again, we were unable to get the mercury levels down. So we started looking at all the different foods I was eating and um, realised that when I was living in the, the two previous places before I moved to London, I was always shopping in a Tesco superstore. And so we bought food from Tesco's, uh, even though I was trying to eat mainly organic, and even though I was trying to eat mainly organic, and um, we tested all these foods. So it turned out that the food that came from that shop, from Tesco, they, um, they all had mercury on them. The, the normal food, the organic food, or so-called organic foods, that came from there also. I'd also been eating in um, pret a as well, because another place which is, um, you know, presents themselves as being very fresh and healthy, and you know all their fresh juices and vegetable juices, fruit juices, all of this had mercury in. Um, we found. So after five years of being unable to get my mercury levels down, I avoided these places. I was shopping in Sainsbury's, Waitrose, trying to eat as much organic food as I possibly could. And it seemed that very quickly then my mercury levels came back down and we were able to proceed with the, um, the final fillings, which I was very relieved about, because after all that time, I was wondering if I was going to have any teeth left at all. Mm -hmm. um, and I you know, fully respect what Hesham does. Of course, I think through that time, we probably went through a, a period of doubting each other a little bit, because um, things weren't working, whether it was because of what he was telling me or because I wasn't following his instructions. But um, it seems that there are certain producers out there or wholesalers that um, do things to their food which they don't tell us about. So I can only assume that maybe they spray something on their food to extend the shelf life which has some you know, mercury in it. I know it's used in vaccinations as a preservative because essentially it kills everything. It's, of course we know it's the second most toxic element on the planet. And um, so I just say be careful where you buy your food and, and I can't say we didn't do exhaustive tests on all the other um, superstores and other um, food sellers, but all I know is that when I stopped shopping in Tesco and pret um, my mercury levels came down very quickly, and my, thankfully my, my hands are much better than they, they were before. Yeah. So, thank you, and good luck. <laughs>